I've worked in the seed industry for about 25 years. Um, as of last year, the start of 2021, I decided that I want to do something a little different and uh, started a crop consulting business full time in 21. I've been consulting some on the side the previous three or four years and, and just like the atmosphere, like dealing with my customers on a daily basis and like being out in the field. So just decided to take the leap and, and do it on my own. Crops that I consult on would be rice and soybeans. Uh, this year, the last two years, I've walked a uh, small amount of corn and a little bit of wheat from time to time. This year with the HSMOC uh, was actually in soybeans. Um, you know, as of most of this part of Arkansas, you've got a few fields with some major issues in pigweeds and several fields with minor issues. Uh, so most of my customers are either planting extend flex soybeans or extend soybeans, or if they've got a major problem, maybe a Liberty or an Enlist uh, variety. Where we use the HSMOC, where I, I was really impressed with it, uh, we had a fairly major pigweed issue in a soybean field. Uh, we sprayed uh, Liberty and Roundup early and killed a lot of pigweeds, but still missed several. I don't know if it was uh, due to the application or whether the environment just didn't line up correctly or what, but uh, we were getting to the point of about uh, probably knee-high soybeans and pigweeds were right behind them. So I uh, talked to Jared, my oro rep, in the meantime and, and discussed the benefits of using the HSMOC crop oil and uh, decided we were going to go a second round of Roundup plus Liberty plus HSMOC. And uh, I don't remember if it was four or six ounces that we used, but either way, we put that in the mix and uh, we got... Not 100% control, but probably the upper ends of 95 to 97% control on relatively large pigweeds by adding that in. Yep, this is the first time. I'd heard a little bit about the company in passing previously, but uh, just had a conversation with uh, Jared, my, my local rep, uh, and he was telling me some about HSMOC, the benefits of it, the costs of it, and uh, felt like you know, this would be a perfect time to try it, give it a chance and see what it's going to do. I really appreciate you know, educating me. Yeah, based on what I saw this year, I will certainly use that in the mix on soybeans uh, in the future. And uh, also looking forward to using it some in rice. I've got a fellow independent crop consultant in South Arkansas that I discussed HSMOC with before I pulled the trigger this year. And he told me about how well it worked with some uh, rice star controlling grass and some rice in South Arkansas. Um, man, I would say probably the economic aspects of using it would be the greatest benefit at the at the farmer level. Um, you know, the, based on the numbers I've seen, it, it appears that uh, there would be enough savings per application. You know, if you apply three or four shots per acre per year, that would more than pay for a, a consulting service such as my own. Um, and at the end of the day, we're all talking about economics, you know, uh, bottom line in the farmer's pocket.